Hello, everyone. It's been about two weeks since ZUSOM's accreditation site visit, which began with their dean being arrested and ended with the mass firing of nearly half the faculty, exactly the way you expect an accredited medical school to behave. In the meantime, I have a few quick updates for you. Let's first look at what Dr. Prasad has been up to. Dr. Prasad has taken to the internet in order to like a post called People Living and Working in Jails. Okay? I have no words. Feel free to leave a comment because I don't even know what to say. I'll, although I will admit, I have to apologize to you all because you must have been so disappointed in the April Fool's episode that Will and I posted. Literally, there's nothing I can make up for April Fool's that would be as bizarre as the reality that goes on at ZUSOM. Next, I wanna show you some glass door reviews of former faculty who have spoken out about the way they were treated at ZUSOM. Glassdoor.com is a website for workplace transparency. So let's take a look at some of the anonymous reviews and what goes on behind the scenes at ZUSOM. I'm gonna start with the most positive review first. ZUSOM had its moments, but was mostly horrific. And this former faculty member mentions a slew of horrific displays from President Ravi Bhupalpur, followed by a review that says, horrible place. And if you don't become a slave to the management, they will kick you out. Next review is called lies, lies, fraud, and more lies. This former faculty member warns us that ZUSOM is a big money-making effort by unscrupulous managers. And then we have a review from 2015 that says the employees that stay are Ravi's pawns and the rate of turnover is unbelievable. The working conditions are horrible, complete with overflowing sewage. Ew. But that's what you get when you create a medical school out of a rundown shopping mall. But in fairness to Xavier, we all know from the episode I did in my bathrobe that Zusam created a brand new academic building in the future year, 2016. So we'll assume that overflowing sewage is not happening in this new building. Zusam, a place to get disrespected, overworked, and underpaid. Another faculty member tells us that Zusam does not even deserve one star. The university is so poorly run, it is crazy they're still in business. And you know what's even crazier? They're still poorly run, and they're still in business eight years later. And you know what else still happens? At least one spelling or grammar error on every material. We've had fun looking at those, haven't we? But I wanted to end with this glass door review that's not quite as funny, but it's so truthful and meaningful. The most important component of a successful academic institute is its human resources. Treat your faculty like they ought to be treated. Hire today and fire tomorrow will not take your school far and it will harm the student cohorts.